Could I ask you a little bit more about the market? Because you said basically it's the way we tax ourselves that's the problem. It's not the market. Correct. Okay. Now, for instance, like last night, I was listening to uh, some report about uh, Germany and France were were softening on uh, bailing out Greece. And uh, whatever that was, who cares? But, I mean, uh, then they, they ri- added that the, the markets rallied 450 points. So then, why should my life, why should my job, why should my family, why should my income, why should my, uh, my, uh, the well-being of my community and the liquidity of uh, my nation be dependent on, on uh, somebody's gambling mood? And if they're in a good mood to rally 450 points or if they're in a bad mood and they uh, tank 450 points. Uh, why is that the best form of liquidity? And uh, how come uh, uh, probably the people here that, that uh, are not happy uh, are realizing that whether it goes up or down, uh, brokers and so on are making their points. And so then uh, their incentive is not to uh, stabilize it. Their incentive is just to let it free flow. Why is that Why is that part of the market not uh, uh, really an institution that uh, is broken and doesn't do... Uh, for our society, what we plan for it to do. Take a look at that building. That one? Right. They're called speculators. That's a highbrow word for gambling. There is no difference. They take a position, a bet on up, down, now. If gambling is a social ill, then close it. No? Then tax it differently. You can tax that institution. One of the concepts floating around in this little gathering was to put a a small fee on each transaction, whether it was a buy or a sell. In a sense, in essence, that's another form of consumption tax. If we had a singular consumption tax in this country and no other forms of taxation, you can keep more of your money to spend. And if you spend, you will create more demand. If you create demand, you'll create jobs. And there won't be anybody on this street corner. You've said that speculators are just gamblers, but they're gambling with the liquidity of the country, and and in the end, they're gambling with my life. What if I ask for a more stable life, and uh, I don't want that uh, uh, this institution is the only way... They're gambling with other people's money. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, they're... They're, when they're insider they trading, took, so they're, they're they gambling took, with theirs too, right? They took right? bank assets and gambled on billions of dollars of speculative mortgages. Could that be re, uh, re, refit or re, uh, reconstituted? In other words, the markets. These people are talking about Wall Street, and you're just saying that, that uh, uh, you're, you're pointing out a lot of things about the markets that, are, that are, seem unjust. Markets in and of themselves are not unjust. Markets are necessary to fill needs. The need for liquidity, right? And the need for capital? The word markets can refer to your grocery store. Yeah. Or, hit that sign again. Well, Chicago Board of Trade. Oops. You know, one thing about... The grocer needs to convert his foods to cash. Let me say this, though, you know, okay, we believe in the free market, and that's a free reign of supply and demand, and somehow that has an equalizing power. So that uh, uh, one thing that that's always based on is scarcity, because whenever uh, supply is more than demand, uh, uh, goods can no longer be produced because the price is too low. And so then uh, that type of, uh, using that model of that market as a distribution system, certain things will, all, anything that's distributed through that, that model will have to be distributed with some people missing out because it has to be scarce. That is fundamental to the free market. If we tax ourselves properly, there will be no scarcity. There will be unlimited abundance. 